Hi, I'm Esther. I'm one of the UCS bloggers on the Chatbox blog, so check that out after this video. But basically, you lot have put in some questions, and I'm going to answer to them by video. So I'm going to start with the first question, yeah? Okay, Nathan's asked, is there any sports science courses? Um, at our university, we do do sports science. We do sports science and exercise science. And that can either be done as a three-year or four-year course. So um, check out the UCS website for entry requirements and stuff like that. All right, Georgia's asked, how hard is it to get a flat or house in? For me, it wasn't that hard. I'll say I kind of found my flat that I live in now, my room, in about like two days actually I looked really late house in Ipswich is quite easy to find obviously there's always halls and there's always you know help had infos on which help you look for housing as well so if you're struggling looking for housing for uni you just have to come into the info zone and ask and they'll help you and I'm sure you'll find somewhere there's always just loads of stuff going okay got another question from Nicole when lightning strikes the sea <laughs> When lightning strikes the sea, why don't all the fish die? Well, okay, the only thing I could honestly think of, yeah, is that obviously the sea is massive, like the ocean is huge. So I'm guessing when a bolt of lightning does strike, because of the fact there's so much ocean, like so there's basically so many like free moving electrons which what are conduct electricity. Because of the fact it gets distributed like over a vast distance, I assume it's not enough current in it to kill a fish. Check Wikipedia. Just don't know. Alright, so Hannah's asks, what's accommodation like? It's a house, <laughs> I'm joking. Um no, accommodation is awesome. If you live in halls, like I did in the first year, that's really fun. It's Our halls in Athena are actually really modern, double bed, on suite bathroom, everything. So much nicer than other unis I've seen. Not being biased or anything. No, but um, even us, a lot of the student houses I've seen around it, which are really good as well. Um, I've got a double bed. My room's quite big and I've got on suite in my room and I'm in a student house. So it's nice. You've got enough room. Alright, Jax asks, what's the weather like in Suffolk? I assume it's what the weather's like all over the UK. Mainly cloudy. <laughs> Joking, not, um, luckily on a really nice day, it's really nice to sit by the waterfront. So if you're in Suffolk on a really nice day, get down to the waterfront and just chill, have a drink with friends. Um, but what's the weather like? Check BBC weather. Alright, and Banji's asked, what if you don't get along with your flatmates? I've never had that issue, luckily, but I've heard of people that didn't get on with their flatmates. Best thing I'll say if you don't is honestly just try to talk to them and sort things out. Whatever the issue is, I'm sure it can be overcome if you just have a chat about it. If not, and things are really extreme, well, I know definitely like in student halls, there is someone you can talk to, probably at like student support or something, and oh no talk to the people that run your house like the housing management team and i'm sure you could in extreme cases like do a flat swap with someone if things get that bad but let's try talking things out because usually you know issues ain't as bad as you really think they are all right so i've got a question from john paul that's asked what's freshers like my first year freshers was actually like immense like that's where i met all my friends that's where I went around Ipswich for the first time, found out everything. Obviously, that's where I got my course inductions. It was a lot to take in in the space of a week, but it was so awesome. Like, I don't know, I think Freshers is as good as you want it to be. So if you decide to engage and take part in stuff and actually go out and meet people, then your Freshers can be totally, like, awesome. So that's kind of more down to you. But obviously, like, our uni does have quite a good Freshers week. You know, lots of, like, deals at the bars and stuff like that. Lots of like days out as well, so trips to like the zoo and stuff our uni does. So, so much going on. It's just getting involved really and just making it your own. All right, so Nathan's asked, How do you find the right? No, sorry, wrong question. Whoops, lied. All right, Nadia's asked, Nadia Rose, pardon me, hi, <laughs> has asked, How do you find the right accommodation? 
Hmm. And then usually most first years you'll go kind of straight into the halls and then you just kind of pick a room. But um, if you're like me, kind of picky, and I live in a student house, I was like, I want a double bed. And I was like, I have to have enough floor space. I don't know why I need floor space. I actually don't do anything with it, but I wanted to. <laughs> but um, and luckily I've got an ensuite as well. So, I don't know, there's loads of websites like Right Move for Students and all of that sort of thing, and property websites. And obviously in Ipswich, there's loads of like actual property management companies that cater to students. And when you go looking for your accommodation, you literally just go in, you tell them exactly what you're looking for, or you just use the internet. Internet solves everything. You can find anything on the internet. I love the internet. Alright, Nathan has asked, do all your tutors have advanced experience in their field? Well, I can only speak for my course. I do obviously buy science. If you read my blog, you would know. Um, <laughs> no, um, my tutors, most of them are like doctors, PhD staff. Um, currently even working on stuff now. Um, I've seen a few like papers and like names of my lecturers and stuff and I'm like, oh, they teach me. It's kind of cool. So I'll say definitely in my sites, um, my teachers are very clued up with what they do and they're involved in even other stuff outside of uni to do with science. So I'll say they're very advanced in their field, definitely. All right, last question, and this is from Talia. What experiences will you gain from uni? Right, experiences from uni for this group. Only, uh, right, experiences you'll gain from uni, Talia. Um, basic, sort of the simple stuff like, you know, learning to be independent and experiencing life by yourself and maybe even potentially experiencing a new part of the UK if you're moving away from home. Um, also meeting new people that's an experience you'll probably like we have quite a lot of international students here so you'll meet people from all around the world and probably in your course um, your course will probably offer you maybe work experience opportunities and that's an experience and even just stuff like trips being organised abroad or even just you and your friends organising stuff um, experiencing new sports if you've never done a sport before we could offer it here at the university like something completely random I don't know like trampoline or something you could experience almost anything at university I know me personally I've experienced obviously meeting like people from around the world and I've even experienced like working in a student union working in a device center like loads of stuff <laughs> right so that was the last question from Talia I hope my answers helped you guys just keep checking the blog We'll put, I'll put that in the description. Check the Twitter as well, at UCS Chatterbox. And just keep updated with us a lot. I'm going to have more questions to come from you guys, so keep submitting stuff. And I'll get back to you. Hopefully I helped. I should have helped. Yeah. Cool. Bye.